How to add coming soon to products on Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can achieve this. Now, what I'm trying to do here in this video is not uh, creating a page or a collection, which is going to be showcasing products that are coming soon. Instead, what I'm going to be showing you is when you actually, you know, have a list of products and then you can add them to a collection. It doesn't really make a difference. But where you have a, um, a bunch of items here, and if you click on them, instead of people will be able to add to cart and buy now, it's going to say coming soon. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty much what we're going to be going for in this video. So if this is what you want, just stick with me and I will show you step by step how to achieve this. So in this product page is going to say coming soon. It's not going to have any of these things. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing is going to be going to the products section and adding the product that you want. Now you can add all the information that is needed. For example, the title, I'm just going to name it uh, tutorial. And then the description, feel free to add the description that you actually want. Uh, I'm not going to add anything for the time being. And also you can add media. It's not going to make a difference here. So I'm just going to add this one as an example. And then we can just go ahead and uh, change the price here. You can also add to the dummy price that you want, or, you know, if you guess, uh, how much is actually going to be in the future, you can just go ahead and add it. If you want to add a, to a collection, feel free to do so. And just, you know, fill in the information as needed. It's not going to make a lot of difference, but you can also state in the description that it is coming soon if you want to, uh, because people are going to be able to see the description if you uh, want that to happen. Uh, and basically, for the time being, we just want to click on save. And now we just want to head on over to the online store section. And we want to click on customize. Now, once we're in the customization page, basically, we want to go to the default product page. So you can either do so by clicking on any product that you see over here, or you can just go in and click on the home page products and then default product. That's taking a little bit way too long that I'm comfortable with. Okay, there you go. So now that we have the default products open, basically we want to click on it again, click on products one more time, and then we want to click on create a template. We don't want to change the default product. This is not our goal. We want to create a new template. So click on create template. We can name it coming soon. And make sure it is based on the default product and click on create template. And now basically, uh, in you know, simple words, you are now adjusting the coming soon template, not the default product anymore. So what we want to do is remove the things that we don't want to show. For example, the price, we don't want to show the price. We don't want to show the variant picker. We don't want, or maybe the variant picker you can keep. It doesn't really make a difference. Quantity selector, obviously we'd want to remove. Um, or you can feel free to remove them, hide them, or, or delete them. It's going to be the same thing. Buy buttons, we want to remove. Share, it's completely up to you whether you want to keep it or not. And then basically, we can just go ahead and add a block, which is going to be text. And we can just move it up right below the title, like so. And we can just feel free to add the text that we want. For example, it's going to say, coming soon, expect... It's uh, 20, 25. I'm not, I'm not good with, you know, uh, titles and stuff, but you get the idea. You can just feel free to make it, um, uh, change the text style here, but you can, you know, type in whatever you want to express that it is coming soon. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and save it if you're happy with it. And you can feel free to add whatever you want. Instead, maybe you can even change the title to become, uh, coming soon. If you don't want to, um, Change it so you can change the title by cha by changing the name of the product, and once you're happy with it, you can just go and click on save. And we're not done yet. One last step is going to be exiting out of the customizing uh, page, and you want to go to, uh, to products again. And then from here, you just basically want to click on the product that you want it to be coming soon. And then from here, you basically want to change the theme template for it to coming soon and click on save. And now it should be good to go. The only thing left for you to do is just make sure it doesn't show up 
uh, in uh, the collection at the homepage and stuff. So let me just show you what I'm talk talking about. Let me just view the site. So make sure it doesn't show here because if you show it here, it's actually going to show the price point for it. Uh, so make sure it's hidden from here. So just add a different collection on the homepage and so on. But if you click on it, it's actually going to show you this now. It's not going to show you the, the price. It's not going to allow them to buy it. And yeah, this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.